We're doing even bigger breaks today, son. Finally, the day has come. Today, we are going to install the Will Wood Big Break Kit from Battle Garage RS. This is definitely a case where save your time and money, buy the right thing the first time. So you guys probably already know I'm running the FC calipers up front with the Mini Cooper rotors. And the short answer is I've been fighting them the whole time. So let's talk about from start to finish. The very first thing I got the calipers and rotors on, bled the system, and all of a sudden I had a really low pedal. So what did that mean? For whatever reason, some people have had luck with the factory brake master cylinder running the FC calipers. I did not. So basically I was pushing the pedal all the way down, filling up all eight pistons on the FC calipers until finally when the, you know, the space behind those pistons got filled up, then I'd finally start to get brake. So how did I solve this? Thank you, bad boy, 888000, <laughs> whatever your username is, Mark. On an old Club 4AG thread, he used a one inch 99 Camry non-ABS brake master so I installed that and then brakes were okay you know at least I had a solid pedal again what's the struggle after that is trying to balance brake bias because it was way too front heavy and how can I basically explain brake bias for the amount of brake pedal input the fronts would lock up a lot sooner than the rears so I tried a couple things to mechanically play with brake bias before I had to modify any of the hydraulic lines. I played with a more aggressive compound in the rear. I have the Silk Road S13 rotor adapters in the rear to mechanically correct bias. None of this stuff ended up working, or I should say really working. So where am I at now? Running Hawk HP Plus in the front and then a more aggressive Hawk Black in the back. I got pretty close, but not close enough, so I ended up biting the bullet and installing a Willwood proportioning valve, again from Battle Garage RS. So that pretty much corrected my bias, but the problem I've been fighting my past few track days has been the lack of brake pedal modulation. So what does that mean? For the amount of brake pedal it locks up too soon, right? So a good like layman's way to say it, it's the brakes are either on or off. Like you're gonna lock them or you're not. Whereas way back when I was just running factory Cor Corolla brakes, I could modulate or like, you know, feel out the threshold when it would start to lock and then back off a little bit. I essentially can't do this with the brake system I have now. It's e And um, this is especially apparent and especially dangerous when I'm heel toe and then you know, by accident, because the brakes are so on off, I'll lock up the fronts and the rear end will come around on me. So all this struggle, all that money, all that R&D time. Yeah, did I learn a lot? Of course I learned a lot, but for you guys, buy the right thing, spend the money, do it one time and call it good. Again, Willwood Big Brake Kit from Battle Garage RS. All right, let's get to the install. Dexter, we're gonna install the brakes now. All right, so let's see what we have in the kit. Two Willwood rotors, two Willwood calipers. These, I just got these and it looks like they paint the letters on the faces in white now. We also get two caliper adapters, some hardware and some fittings, and then two stainless lines. I've driven three cars with this kit and installed this once. Um, we had a Miata in here one time and I noticed that they take a different pin than what comes in this kit so this is this is a cotter pin there's actually a willwood part number that's like a hair clip that's much more usable in the long term so i'll probably try to find that part number at some point yeah i mean the last install i did plus all the cars i've driven with this kit uh, this is definitely the big brake kit i recommend all right so a quick word of caution if you guys have ever talked to me in real life you know i say don't get a big brake kit. You probably don't need it. 95% of Corolla guys do not need a big brake kit. Some good brake pads like the Porterfield RS4s that Battle Garage has and 
some good rotors like I know Battle Garage also has the Project Moo rotors play with rotor and brake pad compound first before you decide big brake kit but if you absolutely must the Willwood kit is definitely the kit I would recommend so yeah by all means do not listen to me do whatever you want <laughs> All right, roll of life moment number one. I just realized to install these brackets, you actually need the OEM Corolla brake caliper brackets. I don't have those because I have the adapter brackets to run FC calipers. So I put an ISO on the Facebook group. Hopefully sometime by tomorrow, I'll have some caliper brackets. Otherwise my backup plan is I'm gonna pull the brackets off my wagon, so. Hopefully I don't have to down a car just so I can get one running. Roll a life! <laughs> I've gotten a lot of questions, which FC calipers did I buy? So these are some really old school ones. I wanna say Charlie in SoCal with that SR20 car is the one who used to make these himself and I bought these off the Club 4AG forums from a private seller, so. These ones except the Mini Cooper S rotors and the rotors go behind the hub as factory. All right, so we lucked out because Steven Van's here today and he's doing his stuff. I'm gonna take these on loan right now. Um, so fortunately for me, you actually have to cut the dust shields off to fit these brakes. So um, these are already cut. I'm gonna try to get Steven some ones that are complete with the dust shields. I was about to bolt the rotor on and it, I thought it was interesting the uh, Willwood rotor is the same diameter actually as the Cooper S rotor but um, but definitely lighter of course these are some uh, cheap part store rotors too but still pretty cool got the rotor on make sure a red Loctite on these four bolts and then torque to spec and then thank you Steven coming in clutch with the OEM caliper brackets. And then these ones especially, I've had a lot of these back out before. So again, red Loctite on these four guys and then also torque to spec. All right, so we're getting ready to install the Willwood adapter brackets. These will go cut outside towards the engine and they'll go right on top of the OEM brackets like that. All four bolts to mount the calipers will go the head is going through the back side. So the holes to mount and then the holes for the caliper will go through this side. These are just the OEM caliper bolts, 40 foot pounds into this guy. Make sure blue Loctite. You guys don't have to do this, but I actually scribe the torque spec into the back of this guy just cause this car comes apart pretty often. All right, torque to spec, but of course I scribed this on the wrong side, so. We're gonna have to go on the back side. Don't be like me. All right, bearings are cleaned and repacked. Rotors and hubs are on. Car's looking a lot better already. If you guys wanna see what this tool is for, I'll have a link in the description below to that video. Quick tip, these dust caps. Um, I'm sure all of us have seen these beaten to crap on the top of these guys and smashed in. So what you actually wanna do is hit on this lip and not on the face of this cap itself i have this wheel bearing race from some car and you can see that thing fits exactly on that lip if you have a big enough socket or a piece of pipe or something that'll work but that'll prevent these guys from getting beat up like they always do. Got that RX-7 caliper off finally. These adapters come with the Willwood calipers and you only want Teflon tape or paste on the caliper side only. This is a like a compression fit so this one you put nothing on. 35 foot pounds we're gonna mount this guy up and then install the lines. So one of my pet peeves about these calipers is this bleeder nipple so this is actually a quarter inch standard size. I really wish this would at least be a metric size but you know, just heads up, don't try to put something metric on this and end up breaking or stripping it. <laughs> All right, everybody's working on Corolla today. <laughs> All right, never mind. too soon, Junior. You can see these marks. I totally forgot. You can, you can hear Grant right now. <laughs> I totally forgot 
that you need to clearance the end of the ears the end of the ears right here a little bit there he is <laughs> you can see where they contact the OEM caliper bracket so just a hair of clearance and we should be ready for install 35 foot pounds all right so trimming material off the caliper ears I used a belt sander but it, just a flat hand file should be all right too a lot more material than I thought had to be taken off but a little bit at a time go fit it and then grind a little more yeah that's what it looks like all right so the Willwood brake line is on this retainer has been the source of never-ending frustration for the past how long so the OEM ones a hair too skinny for for the Willwood uh, like nut piece back here then you can see I have this going this way um, for some reason if I had it going facing down this guy would want to slip out and then just personally another piece of frustration that's a 13 and then that's an 11 so oddball sizes but whatever all right so let's move to the other side oh and then here's the uh, AutoZone part number for these fittings if you put these in a vise and smash them a little bit these will actually work for any of those brake line retainers on the car also before I put this other caliper on I thought it'd be cool to do a size comparison because FC brakes are notoriously difficult to fit rims around and by the size you can kind of see why I made some sharpie marks on the caliper where it hits the OEM caliper bracket so if I just grind between the marks I should get this guy to fit that'll give me a, like a template all right we're almost there to road test so I just bled the brakes one common mistake that I constantly hear is the bleeding procedure between the inner and the outer bleeder screws so on a fixed caliper like this you want to bleed from the inner first and then bleed from the outer last um, during this process too you want to get something to hit the caliper while it's bleeding so that you can loosen up air bubbles and so that they can get out of the system typically what I'll do I'll do one bleed I'll sit in the car pump the pedal and hold it and put pressure on the system and um, from there I'll feel the pedal right like does the pedal sink to the floor how's the pedal feel I'll go back out check all my fittings do I have leaks and then um, I'll do one more final bleed across the whole system so all right here we are last stretch of Willwood big brake upgrade so brakes are on road tested this thing home and back a few, a few times the last piece of this puzzle was all the hydraulic stuff so though so I spent the better half of yesterday reinstalling a brand new A86 brake master this line and this line or that one I had to make from scratch this one I could reuse and modify a little bit how does this system work and what did I do yesterday so the front will get full pressure and then the rears are the one you need to put a proportioning valve in line and this controls the amount of brake pressure that goes to the rear wheels so I went back to the factory Corolla master because the Willwood the piston sizing in the Willwood BBK is matched for the piston sizing in the factory brake master so when I had the one inch bore Camry master again your one inch bore amount of fluid so it felt like very little pedal modulation whereas uh, I haven't road tested yet but sitting in the car the pedal feels a lot closer to stock which means that there's a lot more modulation and we'll get more into detail about that soon if you guys remember the last few times I've done this I put the proportioning valve down there kind of realized I made a mistake because the proportioning valve should be in an easily accessible place so it's not a fight to reach the sky if you're in the hot pits or if you're in the pits trying to make a uh, bias adjustment before the next lap so I just used a female to female adapter 
And then I reused my bracket and found a spot and put this guy in a lot more accessible place. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Will Wood Big Break Kit install from Battle Garage RS. Again, we will be at Laguna Seca, me, Grant, and Chris Van on the 22nd. So please come say hi to us and you can check out this car. And then afterwards, I'll give some impressions because I know people have been asking the difference between the Willwood big brakes and then the FC caliber. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, leave a comment below, check out our Patreon, help support media from the auto house. And um, thank you for all the support you guys. Catch you next time.